Tuesday. It's time for Coffee and Cursey Words. Today is a different kind of show because we are going to be watching the opening statements in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case and going through them with commentary as well as whatever witnesses or evidence comes next through the end of the stream. We are finding this with the jury just walking back into the courtroom. I'm going to put audio on in just a second. The judge is asking for Amber Heard's attorney's opening statement. We've already gotten an opening statement from Johnny Depp's team. The theme of that opening statement being that Amber Heard is playing the role of a lifetime in making up these allegations. So we're going to listen in in with commentary. Again, this is coming from Law and Crime. If you want to watch this without my commentary over it, you are welcome to do that on their YouTube channel. I Oh, I did that wrong. I am so happy to see you all here. Good morning. Why all those inflammatory things? We're not even going to run the intro. Are things that are designed to mislead. It's good you. to see everybody. Yes, we've got the, the hair. She'll explain to you what the evidence the hair, will show, the hair and that's ready something for our that we're going to focus on in this trial. Ooh, not attempts to. Depp's attorney is right in the window spot. Look at that. Evidence. That sucks. Not what we wish the evidence showed. Not some crazy conspiracy theories, but what the evidence and the facts. So I've done a lot of trials, show. like a lot, a lot of trials. And as you opening statements are statements, describe, not arguments, I would ask that you keep one question in mind above all else, which is this. What's the question? Why are you here? What are you being asked to decide? Did your client being lie? asked to decide a very simple question? Is your client a lying liar? That, that question lies? is, were the words that Amber used in the December 18th, 2018 opinion piece that was published? Very in subtle makeup Post, for her this morning. It's very appropriate. Free speech under the First Amendment or not? That's not the question. That the question is, is did she lie? And that's what you're being <laughs> not whether it's protected. If she lied, it's At not the protected. End of the trial, I like how he judge that, will explain though. to you what the law is on defamation and what Mr. Depp's burden is to prove in that order she's to a lying liar that lies. And she'll tell you a lot of things about the law. Thanks, Alicia. But among them, she'll have to. You, she will tell you that Mr. Depp will have to prove that the words Ms. Heard used were about him and that they were false. And he says about if them can't do that, because can't meet she the other didn't of the claim, name loses Depp that in that op-ed. And he can't do that. So he that's why he's arguing that. Doing that. And for that reason, you're going to hear in this trial, Mr. Depp's team is going to make it about trying to distract you from that very simple question. It's a good way to reframe it. Mr. Depp's team is going to try to turn this case into a soap opera. Why? It's already a soap opera. I'm not really sure. Because the evidence isn't pretty for Mr. Depp. It's not. You're going to see who the real Johnny Depp is. Tiffany, this is a great question. It plays a huge role. Behind the money. It plays a huge role. I'm going to save this so when we get a break, we can talk about it more. Appearance plays a tremendous role. We're humans. We judge each other based on all kinds of things. So appearance plays a huge, huge role before a jury. And this is all strategized. You're going to hear who he really is. More in this than in criminal cases where they generally don't have the money to strategize wardrobe. Terrible message. They strategize closer about Amber and you know, ways to describe Amber and what he wanted to do to Amber from the earliest Good days morning. that they were dating through their marriage and after their marriage. You're going to hear about that. But this case isn't about that. Oh, it's going to be a fun this show. case. Live streaming isn't tickets about a day to day crime for spilling tea live are still available. It's not about who is the better spouse, it's not about who you like more. It's not about which party. Can oh, you don't want it life. to be about who you like more, but it might but you're be. You're going to hear a lot of that in this trial. Oh, but it might be. You're going to hear that because that's what Mr. Depp wants to turn this case into. Did your client lie? He wants to turn this case into a six week long Hollywood spectacle of the most intimate aspect yep. of their relationship. Ac- accurate. Their marriage. That's accurate. And you know that's what? what I'm it's sorry going to be. for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we're going to have to do that. Strong I'm approach. Sorry that you're going to have to lift all of it. And I'm sorry that Amber's going to have to read. This is that. consistent with their story in the media. I'm sorry that, that he is, is making and this a spectacle. Idly by it's further abuse of her is kind of the subtext of that. And false statements like That's a smart approach. And not let those go unresponded to. But ultimately, what this case is about is about the first contrite. About that December 18th, 2018 op-ed piece. Whether Ms. Heard's freedom of speech and the First Amendment give her the right to say the words that she said. 
Only if that, it's that true. Right, that freedom of speech is what Amber Heard is asking you to uphold and protect. Only if it's true. And that's a very simple question. Katya, she wrote the article. The question you could decide this afternoon. In the, um, and it in does the not Washington Post in the op-ed. To stand and serve as the umpire of two movie stars in perfect marriage. That's fair. It doesn't. I like that approach. And so we're going to um, focus on those. And words. I will be talking about that more tomorrow. We're going to look at those words. And as we look tomorrow's at those words, podcast episode keep this in mind. is keep in mind a case brief of everything leading up to this, but in Mr. like 30 minutes. It's like this is the words. critical issues in it. Keep in mind what you didn't see. It's really hard. You didn't see the rest issues. of the opinion piece. And what we'd ask yeah, the rest is of the that opinion as you look matter. at those words, yes, as you look at them in she the She quote unquote wrote the article Rotten Ralph. There's some now conversation about how much the ACLU had input on that article doesn't really matter because the words are true but context well, matters. there it is and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Heather to put up the article put up the opinion piece and I'm going to read that to you and we're going to look at those words <laughs> I didn't see her rolling her eyes earlier about. I was listening because to Mr. Depp's, Depp's opening, team but I didn't wants watch. to make you think that this was that this this opinion piece I think was she always designed looks a little to destroy on. Johnny Depp. That this was designed to maliciously talk about him and their life together, and it wasn't. So let's take a moment to look, to look at this. Um, I'm going to read it to you, and I, I'm going to do this at, along when they can, take a break. But either way, um, but I will talk about what, what she has to stand. Says. But he sued her. This is the piece that Amber. Wrote. Interesting, they didn't choose the digital article. I was exposed to abuse. Oh, they're going to read the whole thing. Great. I knew certain things early on without ever having to be told. I knew that men have the power. I think he's going to read the whole thing. Physically, socially, and financially. And that a lot of instances. They're generally going to have to pay their own lawyers in a case like this. Um, I knew they Some will ask for legal fees. They're not going to get all of it. And I bet you learned it young too. So chat, I know there are sides in this. Like many women, I have been harassed and sexually assaulted. Thank you for keeping the chat into but evaluating the cases as they come and I did not evaluating expect complaints to bring justice. what people are saying. And I didn't see myself as a victim. Depp wiggles a lot. It's going to be then, interesting to see how much ago, he wiggles. I became a public figure representing so. domestic abuse and I felt the full force of our call. Lynn's after he women who speak is out. done, I'm going to answer this too, but Friends and the attorneys agreed to have cameras in the courtroom. This is what they want. This is the point of the movie trial. I was attached to recast my role. I had just shot a two-year campaign. As I am early today, so they do do that. And the company <laughs> dropped me. Questions arose as to whether I would be able to keep my role of Mira in the movies Justice League and Aquaman. I had the rare vantage point of seeing, in real time, institutions protect men. That looks pissed. Abuse. That's not a good look. Don't Imagine a powerful lawyer. man as a ship, like the Titanic. Don't clear that at the lawyer. It's not his fault. When it strikes He's doing his job. Point. There are a lot of people on board desperate to patch up holes, not because they believe in or even care about the ship. So but that because sits closer to the jury because he's the, the plaintiff enterprise. and criminal. That's the prosecution. In recent years, the party that bears the burden of proof sits closest to the jury. Not just so you're going to see this female attorney here really monitoring the jury. And I imagine they've got a jur- somebody back here watching how the jury responds life, to things as well. Confronting these so, men who are buoyed by social, economic, and cultural power. Um, Georgia, it seems that the photos are coming in based on the opening statements. I will answer this more thoroughly at a break. So it seems that. The president of our country has been accused by more than a dozen women of sexual misconduct, including assault and harassment. And Butterfly Moon, I will talk about why some of those theories are there. Has energized a female-led opposition. Lynn's, yes. Me Too started a conversation about just how sexual violence affects women in every area of our lives. Yes. And last month, more women were elected to Congress than ever in our history. With a this is from 2018. To issues seriously. Women's rage and determination to end sexual violence are turning into a political force. We have an opening now to bolster and build institutions protective of women. For starters, Congress can reauthorize and strengthen the Violence Against Women Act. They still can. First we're passed still, in 19. We're still having this conversation. The act is one of the most effective pieces of legislation enacted to fight domestic violence and sexual assault. It creates support systems for people who report abuse and provides funding for rape crisis centers, legal assistance programs, and other critical services. 
it improves responses by law enforcement and it prohibits discrimination against Carla, LGBT it depends on the makeup of the jury and how they respond to him for the act expired but it September needs to be been temporarily it extended. needs to be appropriate and it we can't be all the time or it just looks like he's playing up to the jury so simultaneously this case is going to get a lot worse so it has to wait Last month, we did start Education early. Secretary I tweeted Betsy it. DeVos I instant it. I text crewed it. And I said it here last night because I wanted to get to the, some of the opening statements. While some changes would make the process for him to see if they actually more make fair, statements or if they argue, others would weaken protections for sexual assault survivors. For example, the new rules would require schools to investigate only the most extreme complaints and then only when they are made to designated officials. Women on campuses already have trouble coming forward about sexual violence. Why would we allow institutions to scale back supports? I write this as a woman who had to change my phone I think they're trying to bring empathy because in. Because I was getting death threats. For months, to I the context. left my apartment. And when I did, I was pursued by camera drones and photographers on foot, on motorcycles and in cars. Tabloid outlets that posted pictures of me spun them in a negative light. Tiffany O, oh, this whole relationship on is one of the most toxic things we're going to see play out. And it's, my life and it's just, it's just a on mess. Myriad judgments it's far a mess. My control. It is a mess. I want to ensure there's no that question that Depp was also injured. It's just who instigated is going to come down to the. We are electing here. representatives who know how deeply we care about these issues. We can work together. To I think changes so. The to two laws, rows of tables are law lawyers. I also think there's part of the legal team in the first row as well, which is going to be legal assistance, uh, people wrangling witnesses and stuff. But yes, they have two tables for both sides, legal teams, and they're going to have people. I know that was a lot. This is going to be their legal team too. People who watch the jury, the assist the lawyers who aren't sitting in the words, well, and he's standing in the well right now between. Council table and the judge talking directly to the jury who's over on this side that we will not see, nor should we. Yes. So let's talk about that article for a minute. First he has a all, very the let's talk about this. Depp by name. They're going to get it all dramatic. Contains his name. We're just article. reasonable. It is not about Amber's relationship with Mr. Depp. There are no details. Observe is great, and I can't wait for him to cover article. some of this trial. The article is about proposed legislation and strengthening of government laws and policies designed to protect abuse victims and people who report abuse. That's what the article is about. Diana, that's a great question. In the midst of a social movement, this jury the American trial is taking place in Virginia. ACLU I explain a bit why tomorrow Amber it's taking place in Virginia, but it's taking place in to speak on in state court issues. in Virginia, and that's what she did. To do so, she drew on her experiences as someone who had reported domestic abuse. Interesting that he said reported. And there's no question. Not someone who no had been. That she did, in fact, report domestic abuse in 2016. Interesting. Interesting. She talked about her negative I'm making a personal note. experiences and her reactions and opinions after being someone in Hollywood who reported abuse. And the consequences that that's a very, she very smart reframe experience in the days and months following reporting that abuse. So he's reframing that's the defamation. The article, about. the article isn't about Johnny Depp. That's a smart tactic. The article is about the social change for which she is advocating and that the First Amendment protects. And so I hope you remember huh. as this case goes on that you saw from Mr. Chu only the three statements in isolation because they want you to forget that they don't want you to pay attention second snack to language is about. everything but if they argue now, this isn't about whether she was abused it's about article, whether she reported abuse it's suffered. a verifiable fact that she reported it trial, and that's very the article would have looked very, very, very smart good. he is he's she laying good groundwork i'm not mad at that at all details. that's a good argument for him she a very good reframe started out by calling out Mr. Depp by name. So it's not she defamatory it if she reported Post. it. That's what he's trying to, that's what he's trying to, she, she uh, that's what he's trying to do. In great detail, the man who has described himself 
the violent side of himself as the monster. That's what she would have done. The monster. She would have told you about the monster. But she didn't. That wasn't the point of this article. And she was careful to avoid that, even, even having her lawyer review the article. Ashley, this sure is a great question. That it was okay. Oh, she interesting. She had her lawyer review it. That's trial. very interesting. That's new information. But because Johnny Depp brought this case and asked This her, is a great all question. All of that is going to come out. I don't think there's any winners Just here. Just know that Amber Heard never wanted to unearth to the public who the real Johnny Depp is. Mm. But yeah, I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Trial. I'd like you to also oh, there's going to be a lot of fireworks in this trial. Who isn't here today. For sure. You don't see the Washington Post sitting here as a defendant in this courtroom. Also a good point. Depp didn't sue the Washington Post. He's he on a no vendetta. In doing that. Yep. There's the vendetta argument. He only sued Amber. He could have sued the Washington Post. They published the article. But he didn't. And he chose to bring Amber to court here in Virginia, where she has no ties, has never lived. He's never lived. Where they never spend any time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they're because not like you. He wanted to make her life hard. He wanted to ruin He's her fucking life. with her. He wanted to destroy her. So he dragged, he dragged her across the country to be in trial That's out here he with did. you all. Interesting. And I wish I could say Rudy that Magoo. It depends on the judge. Surprising. They went like an hour on the other side and they Certainly had two lawyers But do it's not surprising everything. because the evidence so will depends. show that for years... All Mr. Depp has wanted to do is humiliate. Thank you Amber, for the reminder. To haunt her, to wreck her career. This is further abuse, That's is what, what he's the saying. That's what will show in his words. You're not That's oversimplifying it, uh, psychedelic state, yoga. That's exactly what this is. Yoga. This is a he said, she said you're the with a fuck ton of lawyers that's going to play out over six weeks who respects trying to save family. their own reputations. And, and with maybe that, even though money. we looked at the article as a whole, I'd like to spend a few minutes looking at the individual. This is exactly what it is. I wonder if she took a Justice page from Elizabeth Holmes' hair. You. Um, I think we're going to see that kind of that well. low we'll Chignon the entire trial. She wore it yesterday. I think we're going to see it the whole time. Um, she definitely has, her hair is serving more than Depp's hair. Um, what they wear to trial is very strategic. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse. And I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Amber's hair is 100% for optics. There's Everything she's going to do in this court is for optics. I will address First the Virginia all, jurisdiction the a little bit more. It's interesting the way they framed it as the hands of Johnny Depp. it being malicious to fuck with her. And it took many forms. That's going to be their whole Physical, theme. Sure. But also emotional, verbal, psychological abuse. It's all domestic abuse that she I haven't been live for an hour. His hands. I didn't cover Depp's opening. I was still getting so ready and packing truth. because I've but got a live event tomorrow. Is that on Tuesday, May 27, Tuesday, yeah, tomorrow. 2016, two years before this opinion piece was published, Amber walked into a courtroom. Claire, in why is this being televised? With bruises on her the face attorneys allowed it to be televised. There have been numerous requests from media. So who's getting ABC paid for it being televised? Who The advertisers will pay the networks that stream it, but it's a pool of cameras. Absolutely so lots of networks are allowed to stream it. Law and Crime, Court TV, and others. So anyone who has a camera there can stream it. They're all allowed to pool it. And she was, of course, a public figure. She was a movie star. Carrie will address that, and I address it more in depth in tomorrow's podcast photos. episode, too. She got those, of course. But I'll do it at the break. Who wants to be photographed with a bruised face walking out of court? Amber she Heard. She didn't want that. She had the, the paparazzi there that. and her publicist there. But she was a public figure. And two years before she wrote this article, she was a public figure. I can't. I'm sorry. I will try abuse. to keep them to a minimum, though. I will keep that in mind. True. And try as he might. To take it away, Amber's freedom of speech gives her the right to say that. Can we pull up slide two, please? She has a freedom of speech. This is the second statement. I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. Once again, that statement is 100% true. Amber I like that they're going statement by abuse. statement. It's smart. And she saw how he was protected at the same time that her career 
took a downturn and that he did everything that he could to try to wreck her career, as the evidence will see. Uh, I think this was mutually a short destruction from the start. That statement is true. You don't need to relive every intimate detail of their marriage. You don't need You're to decide gonna. what happened on any individual day of their marriage to determine that the First Amendment protects that statement because it is true. That's a good reframe. I think they're worried. She I think they're worried that the jury's going to find she the was the instigator of the abuse. Let's pull up the third statement. And so that's why they're saying you don't need to determine who did what to who and when was to determine the, the statements are true. Of the Very interesting. Edition of the article. I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. The undisputed evidence in this case will be that Amber did not write these Simply words. Simply, Dean, no, we're just getting a preview of the words, different points. Did not approve these words. But Johnny's side did a That's great job in opening, too. Johnny's side bears the burden the of proof for his claims. Her, she bears the burden of proof for her counterclaims. And I'll talk about those at the but break. But here's the thing. Like the first two statements... Tragically, it's true. Amber I've got my notepad, so I don't forget to talk about things. Hands of death. And Ms. Vasquez tried to be minimize a good host that for and watch to make party. you think that it's all made up. But it's not. You will hear in the most graphic and horrifying terms about the violence that she suffered. You'll hear that straight from her. You're going to be here about his too. She will get on the stand and she will tell you that. It happened. And by taking out I'm gonna wrap that twelve thirty restraining order, by obtaining that from the court, she did speak. And then I'll hand you guys it. off. And all the other abuse that she suffered. And she said, Enough is enough. I need to protect myself. She didn't want to do that. She didn't want to be forced to get that restraining order, but she did. She spoke out against the abuse by doing that. And the evidence will show that she did face her culture's wrath, perhaps illustrated no more clearly by the fact that she's here today facing this lawsuit brought by an obsessed ex-husband hell-bent on revenge. An obsessed ex-husband hell-bent on revenge. That is their, that's their tagline. And as you consider whether these statements are true, I'd ask you to keep this in mind as well. The evidence will show that in May of 2016, when she obtained the restraining order, Mr. Depp never denied the allegations. And in fact, he signed a statement that Amber hadn't made any false statements for financial gain. Hmm. He signed a statement saying she hadn't made any false statements. And you'll see that in evidence in this trial. And it was that only must be two for years this, later, though. as his career was in free fall and her career was taking off, that he pounced. Uh, revenge. That he to chose pull her to down. This lawsuit. Pull her back into the mud. After saying that she hadn't made any false statements. She hadn't made them at that point. And one thing that you'll be instructed at the end of the trial, but that Mr. Depp's side will try to distract you from is that any damages that he suffered and any defamation has to flow from that 2018 opinion piece. This case isn't about the statements made in 2016, even though they're true. This case is about the December 2018 opinion piece. That's what the case is about. He's very natural in front say, of the jury, which will go a long pretty way. Ironic. It's pretty ironic. She needed a very likable attorney that briefly discussed Amber moving on from Johnny Depp that briefly discussed her life experiences after Johnny Depp is the very vehicle that he uses to try to keep her from moving on. And his side is framing it as this is all PR. This was all rather PR for her. her, her life back, rather than take personal responsibility for his own actions. It's ironic that he uses that piece to do that. But like I said, Alexis Fair, surprising. this jury doesn't know as much about the case. They're coming in or they should be coming in pretty neutral. Dating back years. Now, in five or six weeks, Elaine or I will get up here at closing argument and we'll remind you. I will at the break. We'll remind clarify you why it's in Virginia. About. We'll remind you that this case is about. Agreed. And they're going to prove that that was a lie. Amber's words. In this article, it's so interesting it that they're using death. a photocopy of the it wasn't about her marriage. print it wasn't about her version. Marriage. It's so homey. But it was about life after that. I wonder if that's a choice because of it's where in Virginia this speech. jury is trying to make it a little more down home. It's not about the soap opera that Depp will turn this Stop case fighting into. your brother. It's not Jesus about where you get like together. Better. We're streaming. It's not even about whether you agree with the words that she wrote. 
It's about her right to speak them. Iris, six weeks feels real long for now, me on this I kind of down, case. I'd like to briefly discuss. Oh, no, don't briefly discuss. Sit down. <laughs> death alleges in this case don't talk about damages. It's your opening case. statement. You Shut up. Damages. And the evidence will show Ugh. that he has not suffered one cent of damages. Stop it. In this op -ed. Stop it. Not one. Stop it. Now, make Stop no it. mistake. Johnny you were doing Depp's well before this. Reputation Stop it. Is in tatters. His career is in free fall. Did you see Depp's smirk? But he was not happy with of that. But problems that he created. Problems that he You lost it for yourself, coach. And he's here in court. He's pulling a gutter stall. you to blame Amber for that. You hurt yourself. But it's not Amber's fault. They're from the choices Ew. that he made. You'll hear a lot of evidence in this trial. Agree. About those choices. Agree. I think this is a, I think this is a poor choice. Crushing drug and alcohol abuse. I think this is a poor You'll choice. You'll hear evidence of debt taking more drugs than you can count. I think this You'll is a very poor choice. Before one of the instances of abuse, a cross-country plane flight in May 2014 from Boston to Los Angeles, when he kicked Amber in the back on a private jet. You'll hear evidence that he had had no food for days, that he had used cocaine, that he had had half a bottle of whiskey, that he had had countless Red Bulls and vodkas, that he had taken <laughs> pills and on the plane decided to top all that off with two bottles of champagne. This is not going to work well. He'll hear evidence of that. This is a bad he blacked out on the plane. Bad choice. And he abused Amber. I agree, Chad. I think this is I think that, about it when agree. He about. Chad, I agree with you. You'll hear evidence of drug binges with his good friend Marilyn Manson. Oh shit. You'll hear evidence of that three day blackout in Australia. The, the trying to pull to him minimize. into the Marilyn Manson of it all is very interesting. A three day blackout in which he abused and sexually assaulted Amber. Kaylee, I will talk about this a bit the at the break. To confront him about his drinking. Imagine she had the that. courage. She a had concerned the courage. spouse confronts her husband about his drinking. Octo, aren't you on a plane, my guy? That. That is what the evidence will show. That is what happened to my client. That three-day blackout that led her to be so in fear for her life that she barricaded herself in her room. Is she going to roll out a tear? That same three-day blackout. I don't mean that to be. That kept him from being able to do what he was in Australia to do. Lawyers which doing was his the job. film Pirates of the Caribbean 5. His which behavior on that trip, both before the blackout and during it, kept him from being a reliable actor. He showed up late to the set. And after that blackout, he was gone from the set for a long time. Now he did cut Elizabeth, off. Elizabeth, it feels gross because they're trying to justify show, abuse by using his addiction against it. him. That's why it feels gross. And, and just imagine this, what Miss Vasquez is trying to get you to buy that heard somehow developed a major league level fastball and cut off his finger with a bottle. You'll see the evidence. You'll see that that doesn't make any sense. They're refuting and you'll hear from the finger experts who testify, including orthopedic hand huh. specialists who testified there was no way that that happened. Orthopedic hand specialist. You'll also see pictures of what huh. Mr. Depp did after he cut off his finger when he dipped it in blood and paint and wrote graffiti all around the house. Okay, um, I'm, I'm really today. trying not to pick a side. I want to see what the and evidence comes out yourself, and how it's presented how in this trial. That is blacked out. Because I want to look at this trial and how try not to view it with outside info because I want to look at it the way the jury is seeing it. So I am trying he no when he gets up here to not pick a side. The court, hard thing is he didn't do this or do that we know things. when he was blacked out. So just remember, that. I sent a text. Those were problems that he created. Text crew, you let me know. I got mine. Yes, I'm in my own text. You'll hear to make sure the text go the out. Same addictions that led him to abuse Amber also led to the demise of his career as an actor. Like I said, as you saw with Disney, as you the evidence will show with Disney, he was unreliable as an actor, and those same self-destructive tendencies led to financial distress. Quite simply, he was running out of money. And that distress fueled huh. his abusive tendencies toward Amber. This trial is going to be wild. And it led the public to think less and less of him. I don't and you know will see about a parade that. of witnesses who testify 
in Johnny's case, that all have one thing in common. They all rely on him. They're all on his payroll <coughs> for the most part. They're all on his or payroll they rely on him for the for most some part. Some sort of luxury in their life. And you'll see that of these witnesses. So in a lot of ways, oh, don't trust Amber the witnesses. previewed the parade of witnesses. Don't trust the witnesses. When she said in her op-ed, and I'm going to read from it and quote it here. She said, you, you remember when I said this. If you guys want your text imagine too, a text emily.com. Like the Titanic. Also, that we're about to bing, so don't enterprise. forget to uh, do the YouTube thing. When it strikes an iceberg, there are a lot of people on board desperate to pass. I didn't goals. see Manson on the witness not list, but I will look again because I might not have been looking for his given name. Depend on the enterprise. But I'll go look. Remember that as Depp's witnesses take the stand, none of whom know what happened behind closed doors between him and Amber. That's a bold none of whom statement. Can testify to that. That's a bold statement. But remember. That these are Somebody just raised their hand in the back. The woman with pink just hair just raised her hand. I wonder what she has to feel. And they know what happens to people who stand This up is streaming them. from the courthouse, and happens. you can find it on not just because local news, it. but also on Law Amber, and Crime and Court and TV on YouTube. Other people in his life who had the courage to ask him to change. Coming in. There's and a number of LAPD officers that are witnesses. These are people who helped enable the man who describes himself as the monster. He Make describes no his addiction as the monster. That's kind of this disingenuous. Choices have That's brought disingenuous. Him to this courtroom. His own bad behavior. Fred, get down. His You're own shaking refusal the camera. to commit to sobriety. Fred. His own violence. His poor choices. And the people who have spoken up against it, they've, they're the ones that have suffer, suffered the consequences. You'll hear evidence that he fired his longtime agent, that he got rid of his business managers and his law firms that had represented him for years. It'll be and interesting. And no one has suffered from his refusal to take If anyone in this jury has experience with family members or themselves with addiction, you'll hear this evidence is not going to work years well for him. Before the op -ed. Because I think there's a lot of evidence that shows two years before that, that Depp referred to his addiction Mr. as the Depp monster, someone else not his himself. Wife, helped convince him and to blame other people. That man, I don't Adam think Wallman, that will go well. Who Miss Vasquez introduced you to, had never met Mr. Depp while he was in a relationship with Mr. I am not streaming the whole case because I have a lot going on this week. I'll be streaming more next week. It's a six week trial, but former business um, Rakeda is, uh, Legal Bites is, and others are. So I will be in and out. Bad things I'll always keep you guys posted, though. In his life. He helped convince him. I have this, two speaking engagements fault. tomorrow. And you'll hear evidence so. of that. Rather than take responsibility. For oh, Abby, this is just a mudslinging contest. His addiction yeah, doesn't have a lot to do with the DV. That's why we're here. And the evidence will show you crystal clearly that the op-ed had nothing to do with damages that he suffered. Ah, uh, no damages. He's going to try to make it sound like this caused him to lose Pirates of the Caribbean 6, that, which ha is a movie that hasn't been They made, get paid by the word. But that Disney wasn't going to cast him in it because of Inkverse article. But there's no evidence of that. They're couching on damages. The evidence will actually show that months before the op-ed, it was reported that Courtney, Disney thank you so much. dropping him from Pirate 6. The evidence will show that Disney had- Chat, I agree with you. I think you guys are a good that poll. had articles from the press, had other information. A good about poll of how the jury that. might feel. And they didn't have this article at all in their files it didn't register with them that's just interesting just as it didn't register with the public the I public had five. known since 2016 what amber had to say about johnny depp they know he's an addict this didn't change any of that no i don't think that's true the evidence will also show that he said he would not make pirate six even if disney paid him far more money than he'd ever made on a film that's what the evidence will show so any damages that he suffered what about Fantastic Beasts? are not Bring it up. because of this op-ed. Talk about it all, boo. And it's time to make Johnny take responsibility Ooh. to tell him, Mr. Depp, stop blaming other people for your self-created problems. To take responsibility, take responsibility for your own life. And it's up to you, ladies and gentlemen, to make him do that. I don't know. It's up to you. Because you are uniquely qualified to do that. No one else. Oh, this is, the they're going to, to blame Johnny Depp. Only All of these problems of his him, own making, they're absolutely going to blame everything on him. That is, that is exactly what they're going to do. That the is, First Amendment. 
to stand up, stand up for the first amendment and Amber's right to speak it. Okay. Thank you. He, he got into attack mode at the, Oh fuck. There's another one. (laughs) Part one, part two. What else could there be to say? Hand over the mic. What else could there be to say here while they're switching over the mics? Um, Because this is, they did the kind of elements. They went over, there's no damages. They hit on no damages a lot, which is interesting to me because it means they're worried that they're going to find these statements defamatory. Remember, they have to be false and they have to cause damages. They didn't hammer on the falsity. They brought in an interesting theory on that. But why bring in two parts in this opening? He said everything. Rather than the hyperbole and the personal attacks. And he was right. He just spent half of his closing doing personal attacks. Boo, no. Overwhelming and compelling. In the six weeks, we're going to try to show you as much as we possibly can. Weeks. There are many, many, many photographs. Now, you heard Ms. Vasquez try to say, "Uh uh-oh, you you can't trust those. It's not the originals. She's got that wrong. It's not from the original devices. Ms. Heard took all kinds of photographs. Maybe you should have turned them over. Ms. took photographs, and all of those remained on the cloud. And all of them have been imaged and all of them have been examined by their IT experts and they <laughs> cannot discredit one photograph. Then she says, Here we go with the photos. Oh, and it's, it's got a photo editing thing. Well, all iPhones have the photo editing. It's where you can make it a little lighter or darker. They said it was in an editing app. That's, that doesn't discredit the photographs. And we that, will have they said an it was in an editing who app. Who will testify that all mm. of these are legitimate, authentic Photographs. Maybe if Not you turned the that, evidence over to Depp's side, they could Heard rebut it. Produced all of her different devices over the years, including her most recent laptop, and they were pulled from many, many sources. And all you didn't of them turn over the identical. iCloud. So Ooh, if she was going to go in and try to manipulate, she would have had to do it everywhere. And Ms. Heard will tell you she doesn't have that level of t- talent. There may be a couple of you. You're going to tell me Ms. Heard doesn't know how to face tune herself? Bitch, please. They're all very legitimate photographs. And listen carefully to the evidence from the experts, and you will find every single piece is authenticated and is true. And they show bruises. And they show cut lips. They show hair pulled out of her hair. They pull. They, they show, show hair pulled out of her hair. Of, they show mm-hmm. two black eyes when he head butted her. Those are all going to be there. Mm-hmm. We also are going to show you a video, and I'll talk about the, the time frame of it. Ms. Heard took that on her iPad, um, and it was one day when she was in the, the building, yep. the kitchen with Mr. Depp, and it was February tenth, two thousand sixteen, and he's on a tear. And yeah, he's she's not quite as smooth. going around. He's yelling at her and being abusive to her, and he's slamming the kitchen cupboards and their glass. And you can hear them rattling, and you can hear them breaking. Then you he goes can, over with that big strategy, glass of wine, and I'll talk about and he that has at a, a break. huge bottle of wine, and he pours more in there. And then she says, "Did you drink all of that?" And then he sees that he's she's videotaping him, and bam. That's going to be a pretty graphic one. Bam! For you to he see. hits the phone. Then you're going to hear audio not clips, her. Interesting which to leave that significant out. Significant too. Ben told you about the May 2014 plane, Boston plane. Incident, yes, but called, better. Where he kicked her, where he was so drunk and he blacked out. Well, Amber audio taped him when he went to the back Definitely of the didn't plane hold notes and passed out and was moaning juror. loudly. You will hear that. Y'all, he was moaning. Audio tapes that are very significant. One of he has not been defamed. He was moaning. At the end of the three-day hostage situation. You will hear, apparently, Mr. Depp turned on Ms. Three-day hostage iPhone. situation. She was never allowed to have a password, by the way. He would never let her do that during their relationship. But I wonder he if he was allowed to have one. Turned it on. There's five hours of audio tape. It's during the cleanup of all the broken glass and the, the liquor and the urine and the blood stains and everything else <laughs> he, in that house. That and got an eyebrow raise. Handlers talking about it you can hear them talking about trying to find the jury's finger. also going to feel like they're being assaulted by the way she speaks she's stone it's, it's cold so it's very you it's very it's combative very, very her energy is very combative what this is going to tell you is which is a lot of a very different Johnny she's coming Depp. in way hot it's one for opening is always he's uh, always well i can't say always because he has you can't say always charismatic side that amber fell in love with but he has an enormous amount of rage. You will see the medical records and hear from the psychiatrist that talked to him 
for a while in 2014. She is, she's very combative. Where he admits sounding. that he has rage, that he's like a demon, that he views his his wife Amber like his mother. They're going to play a lot of the audio hates. recordings, Lotus. Um, I imagine that's why this is going to be six weeks see. long. So yes, that. I think they'll play some of the, the the recordings the from therapy. And the drugs. Ben told you a little bit about that. You're going to see a list of his prescription drugs so that his concierge doctor and team who charge him a hundred thousand dollars a month and, and have since 2014 and they are still his concierge doctors that's the and, list of medications he takes in one day that they prescribe that doesn't include the cocaine it doesn't include the ecstasy the mdma the, the police are on the witness list the, the police that responded to the alleged now, dv incident that resulted races, in that the Depp restraining order verbal, or came before the restraining order physical, and sexual yes. abuse of Amber. Let me introduce you They're to on Amber, the, the lesser known person list. here. And I know when we were doing the voir dire, none of you had even watched as much as three of her movies. So I'm going to tell Does you Does she have three movies? She's 35 years old. She's from Austin, Texas. She grew up outside of Austin, Texas. She has a daughter, Una, who turned one last week. Amber grew up in in a, Y'all, she's area. a mommy. Her father was. She is uh, following the Elizabeth Holmes playbook. Worker, primarily a painter, but he would break horses as part time. They lived out on a, a ranch area. His, her mother, Paige, yep. who died at, at, two years ago at age sixty three, dropped out of medical school to marry Amber's father. She worked for the state of Texas. In she's getting a little argumentative for me with the um, opening statement. It's supposed poor. to be the Amber evidence will show. Sister, Whitney, who's sixteen months younger than uh, her. <sighs> Um, it's getting a little argumentative for me, but also Whitney there's really no point to object to this because it's the abuse. if the jury Amber doesn't like how she's presenting, she they'll see it on their faces. Him break the horses. She remembers having a broken arm at least four times being in casts during that time. She but helped them she break the horses. Those horses that was very significant. I wonder if his attorneys will turn that around and be like, and she was trying to break Johnny Depp the way she tried to break horses. If I was the female attorney, I would be bringing that into this. She tried to break Johnny Depp to, to her will the way she tried to break horses. Amber could have remained in this relationship with Mr. Depp for as long as she could, and the dynamics of some of the abuse. You're I would turn that right around on her that's real what quick. Would be her instinct is to stand up and not let Thanks, him Erica. show that he's caused the pain, that he's caused the fear, that he's caused the humiliation. Yep. You'll hear about a long line of jobs that Amber started from back to I started y'all in, in like high school when my mom got mad here, at my friends and I for saying dude all the time. So instead of saying dude, we moved to y'all. Trying to improve herself, she's not somebody. Where's her accent who had from? a great break. What happened this was lawyer she got recognized herself? by a Hollywood agent who expressed some interest in her. She took her hundred and eighty dollars that she'd saved up, and she went to L.A. That's all she had to her name. The testimony will be she worked all kinds of different jobs when oh, she was in good. L.A. Oh, good. The evidence Anything will show. She could get, and she would go on, but she didn't have a vehicle. So she would go on buses. And she'd Oddly go enough, the six, poop in the bed hasn't come up yet. Six different auditions in one day. She'd have a map and she'd have oh. the, the bust and then she would just go around. She had a big sweater so she could change underneath it to whatever the role was Y'all. so that she could get things. And she, she tried to get roles for, in Hollywood. You know, famous actor roles. She wow. was taking one-liners. She was taking extras. She was doing anything she could to make money to survive. Like a starting out actor does. She gave a bunch of it back to her parents. She started helping support them. Then why'd she lie then about donating to charity if she has such school, a good heart? She brought her out to LA and, and put a house roof over her house and put her through community <laughs> college. <laughs> she took care house. of her family with what she made. When she met Johnny Depp in 2009, when he hired her for rum diaries to, Drew to B, start exactly. across from him, she felt like she was pretty successful. She'd starred in some roles. She had a she had an apartment. She had a vehicle, a Mustang. She could go to Starbucks. She could Jen, I agree with Starbucks. you. She viewed herself She's undoing the good well feeling the jury was left point. with from the other now, attorney who was much calmer in his diaries, presentation. She, this woman presents she, a little she got chaotic. Mr. Depp. Not true that she was pursuing him or anything else. She I don't know if this is the best choice. With Tasha Van Ray. She presents she a little Karen-y for me, and I don't think that's the best choice to make Amber likable. Romantic relationship at that time. When she departed from 2000, from, from the Rum Diaries in 2009, Johnny started pursuing She's her. She's giving a lot right now. In fact, he sent her a number of gifts. One of them was a guitar. Who cares 
who pursued now, who two years later, before they got married. Started. That's when the press uh, junket started. And that's when she had to come back and meet with him and they ran on the press tours. At that point, she had ended the relationship with Tasha Van Reed and he said he had ended his relationship with Vanessa Paradis. So during the press trips, that's when they started dating and by both accounts fell madly in love. She loved the uh, side of Johnny that we see in the movie. It's not, but one, they're the Johnny's, Johnny's lawyer is trying not to laugh. One. The that's female the attorney fell in love with. is trying not but to laugh. Sadly, the monster came in the way. The monster is the addiction, um, by the way. Notice that they put the two female attorneys closest to the jury. I think that's smart. All of this is planned. Amber will um, never forget the first event of abuse. She was sitting in his house. The evidence will show is supposed to be peppered in here. He but was across from her. And they were talking about a tattoo that he had that had, had, had Winona, Winona Ryder, forever. He if had altered this... that to wine forever. After he broke up with Winona if Ryder. this attorney, an aside, he had Slim, which was his nickname for Amber. When they broke up, he turned it to scum. But in any event, he had that on there. This and Amber thought he jury was is a joke not feeling this tirade. And she left. And he they're going to just slapped. let her go. Now you see the because the jury's going to be annoyed every time she stands up after this, wouldn't you be? And she was stunned. She, she had no oh, it's going to be a long six weeks. And she we're going to have laugh thinking, that, well, maybe that was a joke. I, 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 what just happened? And he slapped her. Again. See, Matt, that's not a good takeaway for the jury for them. And just looked. And then this is going to, I think time, the other, I think the right male attorney the sofa, was much, drum. much, much, and much, much better for her Amber because he came across as calm that's what she remembers and, and even the and steady. This woman's energy is chaotic. Oh, my God. I have to leave. Then why I didn't she? Leave. But I love him. I have to. What's leave. with the lawyer pinky but I ring? Love him. And she sat there. I have a question. For the what? longest time. I don't understand Later, the pinky ring. For the longest time. Then Johnny came off the sofa, got on his knees, started crying. She's doing all kinds of told things. Told her he was very, very sorry that he had done this. It would never happen. Jamila, again. we'll talk about litigation privilege, but no. Words. Lawyers can talk their I shit. I thought I had put the monster away for good. See, That's addiction. That's what he said to her that day. Addiction. Well, Amber ended up leaving that day, and she went out to her car, her Mustang. Also, and she why do we give a shit if people take prescription meds? People take prescription meds. Time, and she remembers watching her breath because it was cold, and she was thinking, I have to leave him, but I love him. How she do you know what he was thinking? thinking the woman. She finally drove away. But Amber made the mistake that millions before her and millions after her have they are going to do everything they can to get to an aggressive side of Johnny Depp out. I think we'll see more aggression from Amber when she takes a stand than Johnny, so based stayed. on what I saw in now, her depositions. Amber was also she grew up in an abusive family. Her father abused. Sherry, her this is the point of opening statements, and we'll talk about it. The court will so probably take a break after this, and I'll talk about the opening, the point of Johnny opening statements. In his house. And For so sure. what's the normal to them is a little bit more What's so odd to me is we're like, I don't know, what, almost you an hour into these openings? Witness, expert witness they have not once about talked about Amber's claims at all. They have not once talked about Amber's counterclaims. They have not talked about what they need to prove to the jury. All the dynamics of it's like she's not also suing not him. It doesn't exist. They're just bashing Johnny Depp right now. Sober and clean, then everything was going to be that wonderful side that she fell madly in love with. And she kept trying and she kept trying. She went to Al-Anon meetings. She went to therapists. She tried to do couples therapy. You'll, you'll hear about their tape recording sessions to try there to resolve go. fights. or The tapes are coming in. Them so he wouldn't get mad at her for anything. Um, but you'll hear that he gets mad at her for all kinds of things. But he, got, he didn't want her to work. Y'all, they get mad at each other. Actor. Holy shit. They get mad at each other. Stop the fucking presses. What she wears. He starts looking at her lines when she tries out for places. He nixes any any uh, romance scenes, sex scenes. Uh, he gets mad and accuses her of sleeping with every single one of her co-stars. You guys, um, it, it became it's a like he was a bit jealous. That, a control as well, emotional abuse as you go. But mm. what's also significant in that is the property damage, and that's a hard one for Mr. Depp to be able to escape when he's clam claiming that he's such a docile thing and that it's all misheard. He's such he's a docile pictures. thing. I don't think he ever said he was docile. Horrible things to her. Writes on lampshades, 
uh, you know, uh, on clothing, on countertops in Australia. It's partly the delivery. Talk about Australia. Good attorneys can be manipulative without (laughs) without it feeling so aggressive. After she's barricaded herself and gone through a lot, and I'll back up on that in a minute. She comes out. He's got jaded. This is it. Same across the top. She's he's going got, to be hard to deal with throughout this the wall trial. Of the staircase going down. I don't know if aggression kind of from her team is what is going to work for them. Fullerton, the last one she was in the co-star with and, you know, fucking ambition and all kinds of things like that. And then he's written. She just wanted to say fucking court. Stairs. I applaud that. And then that. he's got more on the mirrors. And, and then on top of it, you've got all the broken glass everywhere and you've got the liquor everywhere. And it's, it's just, and then he's urinated, tried to urinate messages to her. That's the Johnny Depp. That's the other side. Now you're going to hear that Amber the urination. They didn't even bring up shitting the bed. The public to know this. Great. She didn't want his kids to know this, and so she didn't tell people about it. So let's go back. The first event that I told you about was 2011. Johnny Depp's team that it was in 2011 held because back Amber some things was going to her therapist Bonnie because Jacobs. Amber has and an Bonnie arrest Jacobs for DV. Of, of They've held back some Amber. stuff. And in those her team's not holding anything back, which means there's the nothing left to prove to the jury Depp. later. Depp's team can keep building. They're not going to have anything else to build. 2014, and you will see, and you will hear from Bonnie Jacobs, her saying, you know, this is a cycle These of are violence. all horde's lawyers. You, you can't enable him. You need, to, you need to stand up for yourself. For a lot of lawyers, it doesn't Amber matter. Will testify. About I'll talk about that at the break Johnny too. Johnny would get so drunk and so drugged out that he would vomit all over himself and worse, lose control of his bowels. She would clean oh, them up. they're talking about him shitting. And, and you'll see Bonnie Jacobs in these notes saying, don't do Pissing that. Pissing and shitting. Him. Don't Great. do it. Um, Leave him there. But no, what would she should be seeing the jury's response. She's standing right in front of them. She, she should be able to read so them. That's the, the story you're going to hear but on that. Let me just. It doesn't seem like she's talking to them. She the feels like she's lecturing. And start an she's not having a conversation. Hostage. She gets there. Now you will hear, Mr. Depp this is going to get way more testify boring. Under oath this is supposed to be captivating. For Fifteen to eighteen months before. You know, I'm not captivated by the amount I'm talking over her. Australia event when he's there filming that that he's been. So I don't care. Sober. I don't then care. you'll see all the text care. messages for the last 18 months. Oh, he was clean and sober. And he said, I thought I had the monster under control. Weird. People in which he's gotten drunk and, so and, 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 you know, taken all kinds of different drugs it, it, the whole time. He doesn't get clean and sober. Y'all, he just, uh, he just he keeps doing drugs. Clean and sober, that she came there. And she, this is a month after they, does are, that make him a liar? Married. She flew in from filming the Danish girls. She's there, and he claims the what? that he was just sitting there calmly, and he just and she was haranguing him. So he took a shot glass of vodka, and when she did, it's when like he, he drinks that, to deal with mad, shit. Took the bottle of vodka, was eight to ten feet about where I am from you, and hurled it at him, and it happened to just take off uh, the just, bottom just, part of his finger. Just and then he have, says she came a and bit. burned a hole in his in his cheek. The testimony We've seen the is pictures. going to be that he self-mutilated on a number of occasions and burned himself in the cheek and also cut himself. Oh. But Cameron never did that. And you're going to hear from the experts testifying. You're going to hear from the experts that he did it to himself. And how fantastic this version Johnny, is. don't laugh. So you're on camera the whole time. He was time. for the week before scoring on cocaine. You'll have you'll yeah, see text messages of him getting it from his handlers, There's the cocaine and the liquor. And you'll hear it so much before that. But Amber gets there, and instead what he does is he takes eight to ten tablets of ecstasy almost immediately. And, and the didn't next three die? Days are just a, a, a cycle of, of, of very, very, very violent, addiction uh, uh, activity. By His him. addiction's not Amber on trial. Amber trying to calm him down. She tries to get him to eat. She tries to get him to sleep. She tries to do these things, and he would just at different. He was, you know, at times. Delusional. Yeah, I want to see Amber's face Paranoid. to see if she's having a he WTF would be, moment you know, too. Mad at somebody else, then he'd be mad at her. Uh, and by the way, we'll talk about the prenup. But he called her lawyer, who she had because she wanted. Did to she give the lawyer give a, a nickname? Because that's the little so the cardinal sin of the world. Post-nup. He called the lawyer from Australia, called her a bitch, and fired her. You'll hear the testimony from the lawyer on that. Um, that's the type of Johnny. That Depp will be riveting. There. And he didn't want the post nup. He didn't want the pre nup. But now they're going to tell you that's that that it was her that was mad. You're going to hear she had a lawyer and she was cooperating. She's not very smooth. 
but this kind so of stuff does as you happen. go through those three days of Australia, some pretty horrendous things happen to her. I got these she cats rips right off now. her nightgown. He has her jammed up against a, a We're bar. Cover he has this curled one a bottles and bottles at her. Because he has dragged I've been asked her about it so much. I like openings and closings, and I want to see some of the he witnesses has too. Her. He has kicked her. He tells her he's going to. We're not covering every day for six weeks, though. Hates her. He's pounding at her. I'm sure he felt her. like he fucking hated her. And then her. he penetrates her with a liquor bottle. Not a debasing act with a liquor yeah, bottle. Yeah. What trial are we in? Now, after that, Amber goes to the airport. And what does she do? She buys a book by a, by a psychiatrist who's talking about she bought a book. therapy. She's already trying to figure out a way Amber to fix read. it again. Fix this marriage that's only a month old. And her husband has just done these horrible things to her. Now they go back to uh, to uh, L.A. He's got to get his finger. Rico, I'm going to talk about this so at the break. To stop filming I also talk about it a bit in tomorrow's podcast. There, a little more in depth than I might get to today. In just if two weeks, they don't take a break. He's still using at this point. He's still drunk. But Amber finds yes uh, on a, a TV screen. Yeah, the previous mother, domestic violence arrest. I'm sure will come up unless woman, pictures of a woman they and text messages which show that he's clearly having an affair. Oh, she gets extremely she's having an affair. Hold on. Yeah, this is fast. Yeah, can be jealous too. She can get angry. You know, she's half his age and you know, she she's, she's half really his defined, age, y'all. We're not gonna say she's perfect. She was mad as can be. When oh, I was waiting for her that. to say she was and mad she as hell. She already said fuck. The two of them were screaming at each other. Now her sister Whitney happened to be in the house. She was summoned. She literally was a This woman's a terrible storyteller, is the problem. And the thing you need to be as a lawyer, While she's there. Is a good storyteller to um, be effective. And Whitney ends up. She's not a good storyteller. And Amber thinks that Johnny's going to throw her down, f push her down the stairs because he's in that position. So Amber actually gets up and punches Johnny in the face. She'll tell you that's the only time she has ever laid one on him, huh. you know, in a, a, an aggressive manner. But it's after he's already been hitting her, and it's in defense of her sister. And she'll admit. She got him up. They had to get out ahead of that, but it's so wandering. I don't think it helps. He'll testify about how many times they were in their fights. And, and she Fred said, and George have had enough of the know, fuckery. I'll post the picture on size. Instagram. The two so of them are he, curled you know, up on the side said, of my desk over here. Him, he doesn't watching move. The he pushes over. me out. I go flying across the, the room. There, there isn't any you know, ability on her part to be the abuser. Um, <sighs> what she'll also tell you is it took her a while to ever fight back. That many times before yes. that she would do what she did when she was breaking. It's all going to come in. That's why this is going to be a six week. He said, she pain. said, putting she every detail. She would just be defiant, and all it would do was piss him off more. She'll tell you I'm that sure she that's tried true. everything. Um, she tried everything. You know, from it's going to be, be a lot of tip nice, for chat trying to get away from between the two of uh, them, know, and that's why I think this is going to be damaging to both of them, no matter who wins at the end of the day. You know, flail back. She would use her hands and legs, and she would go. And try to fight him. She'd run into a room and yes. try to barricade and push his hands and everything. But we've all there. also she heard the audio of him saying, I want to leave and her saying, stay and fight. Stop being such a baby. So now. this I'm is not a fast great forward now to the next one. And stop is, fast forwarding. Uh, You're a terrible I'm storyteller. Jump you up to jump. The we're jumping up to where? And Johnny had to get surgery on his finger. That's the longest period of time he stayed sober. It was almost three months. So you're going to hear that he has never been through rehab, even though he has been a lifelong drug addict and alcoholic. So never has he gone through a rehab plan. So instead, there's twice that he went to some New York hospital and did a cleansing. One time it was for three days and one one time it was for five days. She's so it. condescending. He's never made any effort whatsoever to get sober or, or stop the drugs. But this particular time, he did for almost three Anyone months. on this jury that has experience with addiction is going to be very turned off by this direction. Get. So fast forward to December 2015. That was one of the worst. Australia this is giving. Bad, so yeah, Tom, his house got broken into and the burglars came and he had to have surgery on his eye and my son came and he flipped his car. So yeah, I'm very stressed. It's giving Erica Jane storytelling for me. Tearing her hair out. At one point she gets up and looks at him. Lawyers are supposed to be able to thrive on pressure. It's two black eyes from it. Then he goes and grabs, drags her up the stairs, puts her on the bed, puts his foot and knee in the back of her. And he continues to punch her, telling her he's fucking hating her and he's fucking going to kill her. And he's got his boot Johnny Depp is stuck like, in the What are you talking about? As he's doing it. And the force of what he's doing to her causes the bed frame to splinter. That's how much force. She is suffocating in the pillow. 
and she's, she believes truly she's going to die on this one. She wakes up to her friend being there. She doesn't know how long that she was unconscious or subconscious. She doesn't know. But just unconscious or subconscious is, is an interesting okay? Are you okay? way You'll to go with that. Of all of this. You'll see the pictures of the hair. Imagine how much that must hurt. The hair. The you don't see the pictures of the scalp, the though. You just see the hair. Them. You see now, some hair the on the ground. Thing. The next day, she's got she's just... got to be on the James Corden show. Ah, uh, here we go. See the text messages. She's not sure if she can go. She's I'm going to finish taking my supplements for the morning. She's got split so. lips. She's got bruising. She's got her hair missing. But her friends rally with her. She's got a makeup artist. You're going to hear from Melanie and Glaces. My supplements might really annoy this woman. Job of makeup you could imagine to get her through the James Corden show. Uh, and she does it. But you'll see the pictures, the before, and you'll see them then. And mm. that, that's the resilient Amber who says, I'm going to go do this anyway. Now, her friends, she mm -hmm. tells, I, you're going to hear about Io Tillett Wright. Um, he was in New York. She texted him and said, Johnny beat me up really good this oh time. God. Can you help? And he says, I, I was filming something. I stopped. I, I got the first flight out of there. I'm flying from New York back to L.A. This I is see her painful. on the James Corden show. I can see the swelling because I know her well. I can see the swelling. Um, and then he said somebody touched her and she flinched on the show. Um, he said, that's not like Amber. Uh, he got there. They hadn't cleaned up all the mess. She he flinched. sees the hair. He sees the splintered. He sees all of the other things. And he is so upset. He was a good friend of Johnny's as well. He'll testify about all of this. Lorraine, this is a great Johnny. question. It's because they're but not objecting. And because one, Amber's so going to testify. To so they're you saying, essentially, this. the evidence will show this because they know I'm Amber's going to testify because she has now, to. And it's not a criminal trial. In a criminal trial, you can't say what's in the defendant's mind during opening because they don't know if he's going to testify. This is just Amber's a whole lot of rambling. And I'm sure the jury's not following the stories here. Johnny a lot at all because uh, it's and just he was also going to take Rocky her friend who lived next door in a penthouse and then Bobo dancers. from down the street and, Rocky, and little Mickey too they were all going to come along so you know they had a ham what the fuck thing to do but they all were so upset what he did to Amber on December 15 they said no we're not going we're not gonna we're not are gonna they all going to testify too is little so Ricky coming in from down the way? The Are we getting mom and them? I mean, what is happening? Mom, I'll be better. I'm going to get better. Amber went. And then he ends up assaulting her even there and sexually assaults her even there. Now, you'll see. Deanna, I agree with you that going the after the addiction like this is not the way. The Bahamas. The They're coming from a very morally superior position island. that I don't and think is going to resonate with a jury. Leaves out the wardrobe in the bathroom. It's a very hoity. It just goes around and makes it look like it's a one room and his kids were there and there's no way room. he could have done that. Where is the accent from? You'll hear the testimony and you'll see the pictures. Then from then on, things really were bad for Amber and she was really considering leaving him at this point. And because she was talking to her friends and confiding. This is the point of the trials to get all records. of this out um, in front of the media. And in February 2016, I, I told you you'll see that video. Um, that same night before the video, he called Io, till it right, and left him a voicemail message that he said was just absolutely delusional. It was crazy. He was pretending like he was the property management. Uh, it, it was just an insane. It's like call. sometimes when people and are drunk and or the high, we they do the weird shit. Video. What's that have to do with anything? Then we get to April 30th or April 21st, 2016, Amber's 30th birthday party. She was going to turn 30 <laughs> the next day. Oh, the birthday party. Pretty big event. When he showed up late and she shit on the, the bed. Are we going to talk about the bed shitting? Put together of everybody giving their Take your bets now. Bed shitting. Yes or no? They have a, a Does their side bring it up? One in the chat for yes, two in the chat for no. Do they say it? Do they say it? They said you're in a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, I just saw the greatest. Johnny, right? Um, and he can't yes. say that it was an important financial one. Alicia, yes, she reminds me of Kathy from, from Candy Apples. Yes, yes, 100%. Yes, so he's that's person. exactly what it is. So he shows Thank up you. Like drunk, drugs, and drunk, after drugs. Everybody's, and he's even drinking while he's there, and he's telling the other friends, and you'll hear from one of them, that he's saying, hide, here, hide the Bible from Amber, hide the Bible from Amber. When they all leave, she expresses her disappointment. <laughs> he gets mad. A, her again, yes, sexually my best friend's sister's then boyfriend's brother's away. girlfriend he heard from this guy from who knows this kid who was now, going with a girl that saw Paris pass out at 31 May Flavors last night. This is yes. the last one, and this is the final straw that leads up to the Damn it. TRO, the domestic violence temporary restraining order. 
They didn't say shit. So he says he's coming over to get some clothes. He's going to go out on tour. She says, okay. He comes over um, and he's, his mother died the day before. um, And he's. Oh, good. At least we're not disparaging that. He's clearly high. And he comes in and he's got on his mind this obsession that when she, on her birthday, go back to her birthday, the next day. (laughs) They're panning to his face because he's like. What? His housekeeper had come in to clean after oh, that. Oh, the shit, the shit. Did. Um, and the housekeeper had found so, some, you know, feces on the bed. They're um, addressing and had it. And upset about it and taken a picture and sent it to him. They're addressing so the poop. all of a sudden, a month later, poop. he's got it in his head. Bingo. That Amber has bed conspired poop. with her friends to defecate on the bed. It's human, <laughs> not dog, even though they got two dogs and one of them has major problems. You'll hear about Boo and Pistol. Don't attack um, the dog! And, and somehow Amber was doing this so he would get back there and find it, even though he had no intention of coming back, even though the housekeeper was there. Oh my God! The and he, he won't lose it. He, he won't get rid of it. He's just obsessed with it. Then he decides he's obsessed it right. with the poop. Who did it? Even though Io wasn't at the birthday party and wasn't even in town. Who's Io? So Amber gets Io on the phone. Io's in New York. And she says, this, this is, is the I most wandering, down, tell him this is wandering this is stuff ever. We, we and and then she spirit. disparaged the dog. And, and, and I was thinking, what? The dog and, should and be you'll pissed. you'll hear from Io, he'll say, Amber's fecal phobia. I mean, she can't even, you know, she, she's so embarrassed about that stuff. She would never conspire, never do anything like that to him. So they're kind she of laughing at the fecal phobia. That's the biggest mistake. And Amber's afraid of poop. And then he, he started after started hitting Amber. He took her, grabbed the cell phone from her, <laughs> wound it up, and bashed it into her face. And you will see the picture. You will see the booze there. And you'll see the, the form of it there. I'm now, dying. I was very, very I'm upset. Dying. He's worried because he knows about I'm the December dying. 15, 2015. And he says, he says, Amber, get out of there. Get out of there. You know, are you safe? You know, get get out of there. You know, as, as Johnny's storming around. Um, There's poop. And he calls Rocky, who lives next door. Uh, and then he calls the 911. Phobia. And it's not clear, you know, whether Amber said call the 911. The fecal phobia might win the trial. But they call, he calls 911. But he's in New York. And he's genuinely concerned for her safety. The so dog he should calls sue for defamation. He calls a friend in LA and says, please call 911 and just tell them this. So they get somebody there so we can get somebody <sighs> fast. I don't know what's Fecal going phobia on. was not on my so bingo card either. police are called <laughs> twice, essentially. And now here's what happens next. Johnny goes around and he trashes the apartment. before Trashes? He, he loves to do that. You're going to hear about it. Where is this accent from? from? A lot. Um, and you'll see a picture of him in the elevator. I have no idea. I'll Google at the break. And he's a little agitated there. The fecal phobia is killing um, me. The police are called. You will see pictures of Amber with metadata on them, both before, during, and metadata? After the police officers are there. Is there exit data what too? happens is Amber calls her attorney, the one that she had consulted. No one's following you anymore. You said fecal phobia and, and we all fell out. We're dead. And Amber says, I, I can't have that. Motion happen. granted. I don't want his kids to know about this. I don't want the public to know. I can't this is a great happen. point. She is a so new mom. What has she up, done for her fecal phobia? She refuses to cooperate. Kids will shit on she you. She says, on the advice of my attorney, I'm not going to cooperate. But her friend, Rocky, whose fiance was- Oh, there's another friend, Rocky. Who the fuck um, is Rocky? takes them around and shows- You've not introduced the characters. The property damage around the house as This well. is like listening and to your kid come home from school and tell a story about people you don't know when they start in the middle and you're just like, what is happening? The dog should absolutely sue. She won't let me. So they leave. Now here's what happens and creates all of the- Need a code brown. You're going to have to deal with. So the police officers don't make an incident report. They don't take a report. They don't document the property damage. They don't document the facial damage. Instead, oh, they go out and they write on It's the tab. police's fault. That's their little system in there. They write verbal dispute only, victim uncooperative. That's their language for we don't have to write a report. You'll see that the police hmm. officers have another one later that night, another, and they put verbal dispute only. That's their magic language. Now, that's the police have magic that language. See these pictures, but Amber wasn't cooperating with them, and they were quite convinced she wasn't going to. So, as many domestic violence, you know, calls that they take, they're not. Oh, gonna, we binged. You know, they're not gonna, they, this is one that they they figure it's, it's, it's gone. All. Now the other we're police two officers two. come two hours later. They've cleaned up the place. Hold on, we're just going to it binged real quick because you know this bitch is killing me. But when they do arrive, we're there, just, they try to discourage. We're just going to, we're just going to bang real quick. The door says, no, the other lawyers are, the other. Oh, 
It binged! It's over. Move your head! So they go through. Now we got to get back to her. And, um, and one of the significant Thanks, everybody. things is you'll see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That, that two police officers sets are communicating with each other. And the set, first set says, I don't Shan, it can go either know. way. It depends on the makeup um, of the jury. They, Some they people are very highly skeptical of police, so maybe sense. not. It's like, oh, the police didn't take domestic it, violence seriously. Footage. It's going to depend um, on so how the police present as to whether that's a good idea or a bad idea. If the police come across very clinical, then it might not be a terrible idea. If they come across very like blase and like, Ugh, it's just another call, then it might not be a terrible idea. What, what they're, they're yes, we have to get back to her. Is, is that, that Amber calls the clock, the cops, then they don't see any injury. The dog so sues for defecation, defamation. Place, splash, splash yes. Wine, she said the dog has all kinds of step. problems. It's so rude. Does that sound like the situation here? No, no. And, and it's really important to look at the evidence and think about this. You'll hear from many, actually, I don't know how many of the police officers will put on, but we have, you know, between four and six LAPD police officers and experts who will say those police officers, even when she declined to cooperate, should have taken a report. They should have documented it. That was police policy. The police are wrong. So when okay. faced with this big That's public, fair. Uh, you know, that the police should have taken a DV uh, report. DVRO and all of Not the taking DV reports later, are problematic. Now they go back to the police officers and say, hey, wait a second. You didn't take a report. You said it was a verbal dispute only. They're stuck. It, it, you know, if, if all of that. I think she's true, trying to be colloquial true, with the jury. Violated policy by not doing but it comes across preachy. We're supposed she, to take a report. It can come so across. Police officers chose the other fine said, well, with others but she doesn't have a very real time homey approach so amber goes to get the dv the, the domestic violence tro you're going to see the letter that her lawyer wrote to johnny depp's lawyer that week oh lawyer me, letters fascinating that that's what she would have to, she was going to do if the, the, but but giving them ali you raised the important questions about fecal phobia you know, just make sure that she's safe, that she can stay in the residence until they figure things out, that she can drive her vehicle until they figure it out. You know, some attorney's fees, whatever. You're going to see the letter. And you're so they knew. And they How is it even email, relevant? Uh, though? She's going to go in on Friday. How does they this letter matter to us at all? Why do we care about the letter? They chose not to appear and they knew she was going to appear. Uh, that's why. TMZ, but somebody called TMZ to take all those photos that day. Now, you also TMZ heard her say photos? that all kinds of people saw Amber that week, and she didn't, uh, she didn't have any bruises on her face. The so reason she this. brought up... This is what Amber Ooh. carried in her purse for show the me. entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises? And she her went cuts? to court with them. This was what she used. She became very adept at it. You're going to hear the testimony from Amber about how she had to mix the different colors for the different days of the bruises as they were as they developed in the different coloring and how she would use these to touch those up to be able to cover those. She also used concealer, foundation. You'll hear from a makeup uh, person that Amber didn't even leave her bedroom without having foundation on. And one of the people that was at the building testified he said she had makeup on and it would have covered that purse so that's that's they're the a makeup expert now no let me talk about the divorce just for a moment god no um so they go through they have the two months of trying to resolve the divorce ben already told not you until they, they get to deliberation generally some courts will take questions from them of a witness but generally not grand juries can not for financial gain but they brought up the donations, so I want to talk to you about the donations for a moment. Now, here's the story. Amber didn't have a prenup. I she don't know where we are. Post-nup. She w- was more than Divorce. willing to do that. But as I told you, oh, there's no time fired limit. her lawyers and said, only till death. Are, that's <laughs> we're, the we're makeup tutorials need to be next. Death. And not, not to downplay, there are lots of domestic violence victims Johnny. that have it's to cover up bruises and have to try. I've said, not I'll seen it one. done super but well anyway, she didn't have a prenup. by so anybody. You can always no kind of tell if you're close up that bruises are covered. Irreconcilable differences, Unfortunately, that is something I have professional experience with. Of everything during that marriage. 
Well, he did Pirates 5, and he did two other movies during She's that She's a terrible storyteller. You'll see that he made $65 million during those two years. <laughs> We've Half got a little bit of time. 32.5. Amber didn't want that. You'll see a letter, you'll see an email from her lawyer that she forwarded on to her agent who became just uh, there's this later, whole trial saying, um, is I going to, to be contentious and going to be wild the whole thing is um, going to and be and i don't wild. want you to come basically i don't want you to come back and sue me for malpractice um that's what her lawyer tells her and then her lawyer says i offered them even less than they i i, I demanded less than they offered in other words the seven million was less than mr depp's team was even offered. She is trying to filibuster all said, of us so we forget what Johnny Depp's team said in opening, I think. I think they're just trying to just trying to forget everything that they every point that so Depp's team made. Forget so all of it. She said I'm going to donate all 7 million of this to charity, half to the ACLU, half to Children's Hospital. And oh, and then what happened was the first Yeah, what they, happened? By the way, the, the 7 million was paid no, no. over time. It what had saw, happened? It was over, you know, and you'll see, you'll see the documents what over a couple of years right? happened. So with the money, her, his business manager, Ed Wake, you'll see the letters. He sends the first hundred thousand out of the show, seven million the to each of them and says, this is a pledge towards the 3.5 million that Amber's donating. Oh, it was uh, a she'll pledge. She'll be paying that in installments. So everybody knows she's paying it in installments. It was a pledge. You're going to hear differently from them now, but you're going to see that was the admission at the beginning. You're going to hear from Children's Hospital and the ACLU that they assumed this was a pledge paid over a period of time because that's what they do because of tax deductions and things of that nature. But what she said publicly So was. Amber does make, she makes a $250,000 payment to and? Children's Hospital. Then she also makes a $250,000 payment to Art of Elysium, which is another charity that's that she works for. Um, and, and used to feed and used to do a lot of arts work with the Children's Hospital. She pays $350,000 to the ACLU. And? Now, in addition to that, she also was dating Elon Musk by this time. You'll find out that Mr. Depp is obsessed with Elon Musk, but she's dating him, so he gives 500000 to both of those charities in her honor. Now, she doesn't claim that's part of the $7 million, She doesn't? But what happens is that she, gets, she makes her payments up through 2018. What Mr. Other Depp payments? sues her March 1, 2019 in this litigation. She can't afford right now to be making those pledges. She's got Where to defend the herself. $7 million going but she to has you? every intention of continuing to make those payments. Oh, she, she fully intended to pay. She's a person who has served charities. She, she used to volunteer at Children's Hospital three times a week. Uh, She's very much the that thing is, person <clears throat> and she intends to. And both, both she said she paid it. you and Children's she Hospital said paid. will tell you they have no reason she she said paid. to get on the pledges. There's oh, Elon Musk is on the witness list, y'all. He is time. he is going and to be relevant. To him once she's able to afford it again. Now, once she can afford it again, after she pays all the legal fees. And then I'm going to, I have to promise to let you go at some point, don't I? Yes! <laughs> God, um, yes! So Mr. Depp has decided, you heard from Ben. She you accurately read, read the jury. I have to let you go at some time. Text messages from Johnny Depp on how he viewed She did always person. deny dating Elon he Musk, didn't she? He's on the witness list. Maybe that's another admission that's new information for us is vows, that she now admits that she dated she Musk. Her. He vows she's going to suffer global humiliation. He says he's going to live in her and she will never forget him. And he meant it. So. Ah, back to the in, obsessed in ex-boyfriend. The summer of 2018, oh, you heard Ms. Vasquez say he wants to clear his name. Isn't it Vasquez, not Vasquez? But an article, uh, an op-ed appeared on the, the Sun Times in London. They called him a wife beater. Oh, it was written by the Dan Sun Wooten, Times the CEO, of it all. Or the, uh, yeah, the, the chief editor uh, of the Sun at the time. And he Maybe is Elon writing Musk is because obsessed with Johnny, Depp. Johnny Depp is being cast in Fantastic Beasts 3. And so he, he's, the, the article Depp's is, team why can. is J.K. Yes, Carol. Rowling genuinely? Yes. Your Honor, may we approach? And the reason that they're approaching on this is because there has probably been pretrial motions regarding the UK stuff, and she's starting to get into it. Some of the UK rulings are not going to be allowed in here, and some of the UK lawsuit is not going to be allowed in here. So she's like, Johnny, she keeps mispronouncing my name. We're just going to let it 
go. Um, again, this has been a very interesting opening. And what we've seen, it, I hate not being able to hear what they say when they approach. I'm so curious. Like, you don't have to let the jury know. Let us know. Ma'am, we went over this. We went over this. N no, we went over this. This is me doing very, very bad lip reading. Um, we went over this in the motions in Lemonade. This would have been discussed. It was brought up in numerous motions. And the judge, look at the judge. I told you. That's the face I'm saying. I told you about the UK litigation. I told you. This went on in motions in Lemonade. And we will see who wins. The judge does not look pleased with this um, at all. You know, that is not a happy judge face for me. That's that's body language of I told you. I told you. That's the body language I'm getting. So these came up in numerous motions, in numerous motions. That looks like she just lost um, or that Johnny Depp's team won this objection and she's not going to be able to um, go down the road of the UK so you will hear testimony. Yep, she had to move on. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, so back up because you lost. You have so heard from Mr. He team that they are going to the that Amber Heard abused Johnny Depp. You also are hearing and it rattled her a little bit. that he says that she cut off his finger. When you look at the text messages and you look That's at exactly the That's exactly what it is, Ashley. I told you. <laughs> Girl, those, you Mr. Depp danger. said to Dr. Kipper, to David Hurd. Look, I, I've, father, I've been on the business others, end of a few I judges. <laughs> cut off my finger. You and will see that. He huh, never. She went a totally the different direction. Time he was married uh, to reading Amber, body language is something that's didn't. so needed never, when you ever, work throughout the time in trial work. Heard, You're reading people. You're finger. proving cases to Only people. Two years later, the jury's people, the judges are people. You have to be able to read people to do this job well. She cut off the finger. I'm going Judge to ask definitely you to look looked annoyed. Hard at the evidence in this case because the evidence is going to show that it never, ever came up before. Now, let's talk about really? the counterclaim for a few minutes. There's a few statements here. They're now, they just said, getting into the counterclaim. They've been going for over an hour and 20 minutes, um, and we're just getting to her counterclaim. Johnny Depp's life until October 2016. The he judge probably told her to move it on, marriage. too. He doesn't have any personal knowledge of their marriage. Everything he does is based on Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp used Adam Waldman as his agent, and you will see a bunch of texts where he's saying, Sorry, yeah, I'm making some he's notes. He's going after these people. He's doing all this stuff for me. He's suing my business manager. He's suing the lawyer. He's going Yeah, after Depp's lawyer has it. won both of, the, uh, going to the press both of the things, which means he's a little more on it with Amber regard Hurt. to the and those statements uh, motions in Lemonade, the pre-trial motions. And Heather, if you can pull up the first. She lost her train of thought for a second. The first one is Adam Waldman, oh, Depp's gosh. lawyer, said okay, these are her counterclaim Amber statements. Her friends Amber Heard's counterclaim statement. She is suing Depp allegations for defamation. Suit, depending on their needs, they have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Now, there isn't any sexual violence hoax. There isn't any hoax at all. But he's out Hoax there has become such a trigger word. She's got this conspiracy with her friends and she's making these things up. And it's very, very Alicia, damaging don't and speak this into reality. The testimony I can't will take be six weeks of this rambling. Take and run with these things. And you're going to hear from an expert who talks about computer wise when you search the hoax and you see that it just spreads out into the internet and the social media and, and generates a lot of negative publicity. The hoax for Amber. spread into the, the social media. Please. At least they're getting to the counterclaims. I, I can't be this mad was about made that. This in April of 2020. Depp's lawyer, Adam Waldman, said the various discrepancies proved that nothing heard and her friends said about the events of May 21, 2016 could be considered credible. Quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt didn't do the trick, he told DailyMail.com. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine, roughed the place up, and got their story straight under the direction of the lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. Now, I've already told you all about the events of, of May 21, but I'm also, you're also going to hear from the second set of officers. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that Amber kind of like Amber dating Elon friends, was a hoax up until now. Okay, girl, go off. Johnny, 
They cleaned Fred, everything up. Fred, do not step on my there. keyboard. The absolute opposite of what he says there. The third statement, if you may. Yeah, there's no jury consulting around yes, a lawyer Attorney that can't Adam tell a Walton story. Said, when Amanda Day Cadenet, that's a friend of Amber, be very difficult best to friend do. and Me Too activist, recants her support for Ms. Hurd and testifies against her, you know we have reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Hurd's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp. Amanda Day Cadenet never testified against her, but that's not the part that we're claiming. her support. Oh, it's I guess it says and testified against her. Against Johnny Depp. In other words, in all of these, yeah, articles, Fred in all of these articles, he's saying that she right, created were... an abuse hoax. And you're going to make those determinations of whether that's true my or ears not. Were bugging me. But what we're going to show you is that that not only was tremendously damaging to Amber. Um, my brain stepped away for a minute, too. You're going to hear from an expert on domestic violence and, and inner um, intimate partner violence, IPV, about yes, how Octo. those triggers happen. Demons, fecal phobia, magic language, and a and social media hoax. And, and to get past an obsessed this. ex. And bam, you, you come in there and you inflict this and put this out in the public. And you know, to her credit, she doesn't million, look completely bored. Yeah, we're we're going to tell you about a million different She's searches, doing better than the rest uh, of us. On the Twitter from, the, from these different hits. On how the Twitter. Emotionally. Every time somebody calls her a lie. About a million different searches on the Twitter. How hard she tried to protect Johnny Depp so that his children and the public never found out about that Johnny Depp and how much that has harmed her and, and, and how much emotionally that's impacted her and re-triggered and re-triggered. But we're also going to talk She's to triggered. about the, I'm triggered. Uh, the reputational damages for that. Amber made it through the divorce. Then she got cast in Aquaman. A few of you have, saw that. That was a blockbuster. It was the highest grossing said, movie the Twitter. in DC films history ever up to this point. Jason over, hit over Momoa dollars shirtless in a very short and period wet. Of time. It was that a is mega, why mega hit. it was the she best was movie. Forward. <laughs> then she gets hit in the, the DC universe. Also, the DC movies aren't as good as the Marvel movies. So there's that. And the, and the computer and Twitter. I hate to say about a fellow woman, but she seems scattered. Lorraine, well, you you're allowed to hold her to the standard of a lawyer. Look at Jason Momoa. She should be look smoother. At, she is not a good storyteller. So it's okay. So it's okay, it's okay to give feedback. She look what they're getting. They're getting is not they're getting a good storyteller. The previous lawyer did a better job. These are the things that she would Depp's lawyers did a better job. Touches. She's just She's a pariah. Um, and we're going to ask you, as Ben said, to hold Mr. Depp responsible. Yes, Amber enough Heard was an enough. Aquaman. But we're also going to ask I love you that that's the question. to hold him responsible and, and try to fully and fairly compensate Amber for what he has done to her. Thank you very much. Ah! Thank you, Mr. Bear, huh? Um, based on the time, ladies We're and gentlemen, done. I think I'm going to release you for lunch a little early so we can um, just start uh, with the first witness when we get back from lunch. I think it's just a natural break. What time so are we if you want to um, go ahead and go with the deputy, um, just remember, don't don't set, talk to anybody about the case and don't do any outside research. So okay, 12 we'll be back 30 here. Eastern. Uh, let's, can, let's get back at. I'll give you a little extra time to 145. Okay. So they're going to review at 145 okay? Eastern. Right, so you. that'll be good after good. we are Please. done. So I'm going to go through my thoughts on the opening. We are going to go through questions and super chats. This is them standing for the jury walking out. I want to see if she addresses the parties before they walk out for lunch. She might. I want to see if there's any motions that come up when the jury's out of the room. It might. So we're going to just wait for that. But if you have questions. Somebody have the motion eliminates for me. I don't think I've received those. So I want to see the motions eliminate too. Orders. Girl, I'm with you. Okay, first thing after lunch, I get them? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, that's perfect. Anything else? All right, we'll be back at 145 then. Thank you. Okay, so we're digesting it. We're going to be back at 145. They are taking a break. That's 145 Eastern, which will be 1245 Central, which will be after we are done here today. Um, so I'm going to do questions and kind of a breakdown of what I think about what we've seen so far, and then I will give you kind of a rundown for the rest of West. I've watched this woman talk for so long now that I cannot talk for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, there is a new episode of the Emily Show podcast out that will be going over the background of these claims. Um, what who's suing what for what? What is kind of the basis of these claims? They didn't get a ton of that in these openings, they did a lot of mudslinging. So, with that. Um, you're going to get a, I think it's like a 35, 36 minute episode of the Emily show to narrow down 
exactly what this case is about as we get into the days and days of this. Tomorrow, I have two speaking engagements. You know I have Spilling Tea Live, and then I'm speaking um, to a group in the morning about community and live streaming. Octo and I are going to be having a little chit-chat with with folks about that. So that's what I'll be doing um, tomorrow. So I will not be streaming tomorrow. I should be back for a roundup on Friday that is my goal. I, If I can stream trial during the day Friday, I might just bump Friday Night Live into the day. So I will keep you guys posted, of course, after I let the mods know what we're doing. So what we heard with this opening from Johnny Depp's team, and then we'll get to... Um, and then we'll get to questions. We'll go from Johnny Depp's team and then we'll do her team. And then what kind of what I learned, what I think and where we're going. My podcast is both here um, under uploaded videos under the Emily show. And it's got a playlist and it's also on all of your favorite podcasting apps. It's on all of them. So yes, you can find it everywhere. Thank you guys for this. Um, and then next week I will look at what we've got coming up on the witness list and streaming some trials. I, I mean, if this is something that you guys enjoy, I will be here doing it. I absolutely don't want to step on, uh, the other, other, other friends in the law tube space, but I will be watching a lot of this trial. So if it's helpful for us to do it together, we will do it together. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on this and then we're going to get to all the questions. I've got a bunch of questions that I've already noted down and then we'll do that. So that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So, um, exactly right. Podcasts need to pick Emily's pot up. I need to submit it. I don't know what right podcasts is. Um, but maybe I'm misreading that. So here's what I took from Johnny Depp's team's opening and they had two lawyers do their opening as well. I thought it was more effective because Johnny Depp's team had a good break between his first attorney, the male attorney and his second attorney, the female attorney Vasquez, his male attorney really went into the facts, the causes of action, what we'll see. The female attorney went a bit more into attacking Amber Heard, which I think will be the strategy here. There's always a little something different when you have male attorneys attacking a female who has and is still saying that she is a victim of domestic violence, it will just not sit well with some, depending on the way the attack goes down. So that is a absolute strategy. And I thought Depp's lawyer did a good job of pointing out all of, not all, a number of inconsistencies in, De in Heard's story. The theme really from Johnny Depp's um, opening was that Amber Heard is playing the role of a lifetime, that the timing of this article and this op-ed was constructed to boost her in the spotlight in 2018 and to really be a PR piece to kind of launch, excuse me, launch her in Aquaman going forward. So it really was supposed, like it really is being couched as a PR piece. They talked about the fact that the domestic violence restraining order that she sought in court that you saw Heard's team talk about an opening. They really couched that as, look, this was an ex parte TRO, which means you go in without the other party. It's one party only asking for it. So they said, you know what? Um, Depp didn't even, Depp and his lawyers didn't have an opportunity to respond. He was on a plane and he was doing a musical tour around the UK at the timing this happened, saying that Depp's, um, Depp's contact with Heard before she went to get that restraining order was six days prior. And then he got on a plane and that was the day the police came, got on a plane, went to Europe, didn't have a chance to respond to the temporary uh, restraining order for domestic violence that was then dropped as part of the divorce proceedings. Depp's team is going to keep making it out that this restraining order was used to kind of bilk Depp of more money in resolving this divorce. Unfortunately, that is something that can happen in divorce proceedings. So with that temporary restraining order, ex party, Depp didn't have a chance to respond. The court granted it. It was never made permanent with a more thorough hearing because Depp um, and Heard settled the divorce, withdrawing the restraining order or the temporary restraining order was part of it. And she got $7 million, which she said this, I wasn't doing this to leverage money. I wasn't getting the temporary restraining order to leverage money. See, I'm donating all of it, which is why the donating of the money becomes such a big plot point here in this case for both sides. 
So Depp's team very much painted it out that she was essentially using Johnny for clout and used a lot of Hollywood imagery. She's recasting herself as a victim. She's playing a role, really leaning into that imagery of her um, trying to find the right hole uh, or the right hole, the right um, the right role to play to help her star rise. That's really where um, where they leaned in in their opening. Then you get to the opening that we just saw, the first attorney, and again, I am terrible with names. I do not remember Hurd's male attorney's name, had a very calm and thorough demeanor. I found him much more enjoyable to listen to than her second attorney. It was very much a linear and easy to follow. Look, there's not going to be any damage here. He got in the 